is Hanya Man. He's an elusive character, that's for sure. We first meet him during Kamaki style, clear minded mastery, and he kicks our caboose. Unless you and me and decide that you aren't losing this fight and get annoyed when you find out you didn't need to win. Prodigious! Strong as you are, even uh, not even I expected you to be able to defeat Hanya Man! From the way you put it, it sounds like the resort of the five wouldn't have mattered either way. Don't say that! Don't say that, Kirio! Please don't say that! Now, the wider community would argue that the Majima Everywhere meter goes up upon defeating Hanya Man. So, it's an open and shut case, right? Well, listeners, I'm here to tell you that things may not be as simple as they appear. Let's start by talking about our lord and saviour, Majima. His backstory is important to solving this great mystery. So, a quick rundown of what we know from Yakuza 0 and Kiwami. While locked up in Sotenbori, Majima is tasked with killing Makoto. We can skip ahead since 90% of the story doesn't matter to the theory. Even though it's an amazing story, and if you haven't played it, please do! Anyway, Majima meets Kamaki who begins to introduce him to Masters, but also promises to train Majima in the Kamaki style. Majima isn't interested in traditional training, so the two compromise and fight each other, one to learn techniques and one to recover lost strength. Fast forward through the heartbreak, at the end of the game Majima is in Kamurocho and has learned to embrace his way of life, a mad dog unchained at last. Fast forwarding again, about 17 years this time, <laughs> and we begin to see the effects of that as Kiryu. There is a respect between the two, and although Majima has had to wait 10 years, the moment that Kiryu gets out of the slammer, there he is. He tells Kiryu that he will train the Executor back to full power, thus beginning the ultimate tale of the Majima Everywhere system. Truly, truly one of the best systems ever created. <laughs> Majima can appear basically anywhere on the map. And bumping into him, voluntarily or not, will lead to a fight. Some are just simple walk up and there he is. <laughs> Would you like a side of Majima with a... Hello? My boy! To others which, well, there aren't words to explain the joy of some of these encounters, so I'll let Streaming Walrus explain. Hmm. This was not the uh, Bikini Majima we, we wanted, but it's the Bikini Majima we deserve. <laughs> <laughs> From this, we can understand where the theory arises from. Kamaki fought and taught Majima, and since their interests aligned, Majima donned a mask to fight against the one he loves above all, Kiryu. But, taking Kiryu into account, we begin to see some issues arise. First and perhaps most damning is the fact that the Majima sensor doesn't ever go off. He's still here! We get this after completing F rank Majima Everywhere, which looks to create a psychic link through the red strings of fate. To quote the game, you're able to sense Majima's location when he's in an alleyway of Kamurocho, so long as you remain calm. Now, just a quick point there. It says alleyway, but you can actually see it in the game. You can sense him no matter where he is. We even told when the link breaks and how it means that Majima has gone out of town. But when encountering Hanyaman, our usual alarm is suddenly broken? Clearly, there's something else afoot. Do you know the only time the sensor doesn't work? When we take side quests or go into battles that don't involve Majima. So, the radar doesn't affect Hanyaman. That's circumstantial at best. I hear you cry. Let's consider the fact that Kiryu can't work out who this mysterious fighter is. We all know that Majima is a master of disguise. We see him wearing a police outfit so convincingly, it fools the police force, allowing him not to be arrested. Impersonating a police officer is a crime after all. 
And let's not forget Zombie Majima. Proving that Majima can hire a film's makeup department to make him look as a realistic zombie. He did convince the entire town that he was patient zero for a zombie epidemic after all. Damn it. My words don't seem to reach him anymore. At this point, it would be mercy to stop him. I have to, before he puts the whole city in danger. But through it all, Kiryu is the only person to notice it is Majima immediately. Now, we could chalk this up to Kiryu not noticing due to him being the king of the himbos. And for all you questioning, Kronk is the god of the himbos. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Except Kiryu has already seen Majima in a similar outfit. In a scene at a bar, Majima is seen in this exact tuxedo. Or a very close approximation to what Hang Your Man is wearing. Kiryu may be a little light in the intelligence department sometimes. But even he would notice Majima in an outfit he had worn before. Even with a mask. So he's managed to guess that it's Majima in every other scenario but not this fight highly unlikely and lest we forget the scene at sss rank kiryu calls out that it is majima but after hang your man charges him without words he has doubts Boy. so you realize i'm here hey give up the act majima san you're too damn creative for your own good Boy. hey majima san that's you, right? See, see, Kiryu's doubting it. I knew it. Kiryu instantly always knows. Kiryu always knows, but in this case, he doesn't know. They've got to be separate entities. Man. Damn, something's off about this. I have to find him. I told you they were separate. The answer is never truly given. And even after running away, Kiryu cannot work out if they're the same person. To cause doubt in the Himbo King, who has fallen for no less than two pyramid schemes. Clearly Hanyaman cannot be linked to Kiryu like Majima is. But this does bring up a problem that must be addressed. We rank up to SSS by defeating Hanyaman. We only rank up by defeating Majima. See! See! Boy. He would have given away the game if, if that was truly, um... So the two are the same person, right? How do we solve this issue? Well, we all know that Hanya Man can be hired. Kamaki had already hired him once before. So would it be a stretch that after witnessing that glorious battle and knowing Kiryu is back to his original strength, Majima wants to test Kiryu one last time before the final battle and hires the only person who troubled Kiryu outside of himself. But that doesn't fully prove that it's not Majima under that mask. After all, the Majima Everywhere gauge rises. And that could only happen if Majima was at least in the area to witness the battle. As we know though, Majima is also a master of stealth. He is well known to hide in places and spring traps on Kiryu. Okay, here's the gangs. It's him! It's just like my thumbnail! My thumbnail came true, guys! I'm sure, the Majima sensor warning goes off, so we know he's in the area. But somehow, despite that, he can still appear behind Kiryu and surprise him. So, what could this mean? We have already talked about how Hanya Man doesn't set off the radar. This is a concern as it means Kiryu couldn't detect Majima before the battle, thus him not being in the area. Except, if we consider the way the sensor works, this might prove the answer we require. Fighting makes Kiryu blind to Majima when searching around the city for his one true bestie. If the sensor goes off, 
but Kiryu gets noticed by enemies, the trigger for Majima won't activate until the heat is off Kiryu. So, what can we extrapolate from this information? We can assume that while fighting Hanyuman, Kiryu would not be able to sense Majima and vice versa. Knowing that Majima can sneak up on Kiryu, even with the radar active, arriving in the area while the fight is going on, the radar wouldn't go off. And the final piece of the puzzle? Who else is in the area who knows Majima? Komaki! Now, Komaki is crazy and obviously keeps up to date with things to evolve his fighting style. We can see this with the shotgun he tells us to dodge. This session is something you, uh, you'd actually expect in training. That's unusual for you. Am I going to stand under a waterfall? Hmm? No, I'm going to shoot you with this gun. We assume that Majima and Komaki haven't kept touch since Zero. But what if they did? What if they sparred together sometimes to sharpen both of their skills? It is never fully explained why Komaki is in Kamurocho. So what if he was here originally to spar with Majima? They would need a way to communicate. And what does this game mention a fair bit? Cell phones! <laughs> Suddenly, all of the pieces fall in place. Komaki starts the fight, then calls Majima to tell him about a promising student fighting his beloved pupil, Hanyaman. Majima, always looking for a good fight, rushes over, only to see the sight of Kiryu and Hanyaman clashing fists. A plan begins to form, and by the end of the fight, Majima knows what he must do next. He slinks away, not to confuse Kiryu, when the battle ends. Kiryu being the lovable himbo would get easily confused after all. Between this point and the SSS rank, Majima confronts Hanyaman, firstly to test his strength, and once again to ask him to fight Kiryu one last time. The deal is set, and just before the fight, Hanyaman stands watching Kiryu, but secretly it's just enough time to call Majima. The fight begins, Majima arrives to watch his main squeeze to prove that he is back to full strength. The battle concludes and satisfied, Majima begins to set the stage for their final showdown. So with no choice but to accept that Hanyaman and Majima are completely separate characters, we are left with one question. Who is Hanyaman? We need someone with a similar height and build as Majima, who also has access to his wardrobe and loves to fight as much as the Lord of the Night, while at the same time not triggering Kiryu's Majima sensor. This seems completely impossible, but there is actually one character that fits the bill perfectly, none other than Majima's own twin sister, Goromi-chan. Who else could it be? To cause doubt, but not activate the sensor. We already know she has the same style as Majima, so she must have met and trained with Kamaki sometime. As the thug style is what he trained Majima in, in Zero. Being his twin, she would also have access to his wardrobe, and being a similar build could easily don the tuxedo. But why? Why all the secrecy? Well, it's clear that Majima and Goromi are linked. She helps raise the Majima Everywhere gauge, so she must know what is going on with her brother in Kiryu. So Goromi would know why Majima is obsessed with Kiryu. Goromi also clearly enjoyed their quality time with Kiryu at the club too. Maybe Goromi is helping Majima, but also is jealous of the clearly loving bond that is forming. She originally wanted to become the new fighter in Kiryu's life, to replace her brother and live slappily ever after with her beloved. But when Majima confronted Hanyaman, fighting or winning against his own sister, he saw an opportunity to use his sister to further his own goals. 
Goromi would have seen this as a last chance to win Majima's heart. Running away silently after the battle, heartbroken with Kiryu, confusing her with her brother. A love not truly blooming on the battlefield. And Majima gets Kiryu to full power, knowing his sister would not hold back, much like he no longer needed to. Both a tragedy and a romance standing side by side with a lovable himbo in the middle. Could there be a better story told than the tragic tale of Hanya Man? Thanks for enjoying this jokey theory with me. We'll be starting Yakuza Kiwami 2 on this date. But I wanted to do something big to celebrate finishing Kiwami. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you all later. Sayo Banana!